I'm Finn from NTG Geezers and this is my mono black aggro deck tech. As you can see just by looking at it there's a lot of uh, low mana cost creatures in the deck such as four gnarled scarhide, two one for one that can't block with bestow, Rakdos Cackler, one one with unleash for one and tormented hero, two one for one enters tapped heroic and whenever you cast a spell that targets it each opponent loses one life and you gain one life equal to the life uh, for each life lost this way. Right, we've got three thought seizes. I thought we wouldn't want four. Um, it would sort of clog up the deck, and you'd be drawing into them when you need a sort of finishing creature, such as Mogus Marauder. Um, and two Boon of Erebus for a little combat trick. This deck doesn't really mind about losing life too much. It tries to kill them very quickly, so um, that's quite effective in this deck. Spiteful Returned is a great one because, well, it's a one-one for two. Um, with bestow. When it attacks, they lose 2 life, so it's a great one because no matter whether they block it, they're still going to lose 2 life. Um, and if you b bestow it on something like Herald of Torment or Master of the Feast uh, with flying, uh, it's, it's going to do the 2 life and plus 1 plus 1 and probably won't die because well, the creature won't die because it's got flying and they probably won't be able to block it in most instances. And we also, to keep the deck running really smoothly, we've got 4 Pain Seers. So, uh, it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 with Inspired, which is a decent body for what else it does. Um, when it becomes untapped, uh, you reveal the top card of your library, and you lose life equal to its converted mana cost, and put it into your hand. So, the curve on this deck is pretty much 3, apart from the exception of Whip of Arabos, which there's only a 1 of. So, you're going to be, on average, losing maybe 1, one life, because there's lots of swamps. Obviously, you've got to involve land. Average of maybe 1, maybe 2 life. Uh, which isn't that that bad for gaining an extra gaining extra card every turn. Uh, Bio Blight, a three of removal spell, great for taking out I don't know mana ramp stuff that will get their creatures too big uh, for you to deal with too quickly. Really effective. Um, right, moving on to the three drops. We've got quite a lot of three drops. It's the main curve. Uh, Herald of Torment. Um, usually with a three three flying, you're gonna probably be doing three damage to them every turn with that. And it's only going to uh, ping you back for one, so it's pretty an effective, quite an effective card. Uh, yeah, and if you have enough, I mean, you can bestow it on something, making even more damage get through. We've got two Master Feasts. I would like a third one of these and one less Herald Torment, but I, can't, I haven't managed to get hold of one of those yet. Um, not four. It would be four, but I don't really want them. I don't, if I had two out at once, which I probably would with four, you don't want them to be drawing two extra cards on your turn because and against any experienced player, they're just going to be, you're just going to be drawing them into removal spells, really. Um, Mogus Marauder, three of, pretty much the best finisher I know. That doesn't cost well. It's a very cheap finisher that doesn't cost more than three. It's great. That's a great one. That gets unless you're against a black deck, obviously, because it's intimidate. It gets itself haste and pretty much everything you want through. Painseer can trigger its Inspired, no problem. Spike for Turn can not worry about dying. Um, it's pretty great. Um, one here is Downfall, which is quite sad. I need three. Um, obviously, as you probably all know, they're quite hard to get hold of. Bit of a nuisance. Um, doesn't have much Planeswalker removal this deck. It kind of relying, it kind of relies on sort of overwhelming their defense and being able to with well with the little guys overwhelming their defense and get into the planeswalkers themselves um yeah we need more of them basically to deal with chandra pyromaster her one damage ticks out your tormented heroes your gnarled scar hide your spiteful returns it's really really annoying and since the main removal is bile blight that can't affect planeswalkers it's it's yeah that's essential and i haven't quite got that um Finally, a new addition, one Whip of Erebos. Um, it gives all my guys life link. It's the most expensive deck, uh, expensive card in the deck, sorry. Um, the reason I didn't run it before was I was scared I wouldn't get four mana. Um, and I've just decided to run one Nykthos just to be safe. So I'm pretty sure, because it'll be late game, because it'll be late game when I get this, because there's only one of them, well, hopefully late game, I will have enough ma and mana and it will swing the game in my favour. If you consider all the power I'm going to have on the board, say usually about three or four creatures at once. I usually have. Um, that's gonna. They all do about two damage unless they're big boys like Master of the Feast. Uh, you're going to be gaining like eight life every turn, making uh, like a sixteen life gap every turn. This is massive, pow massively powerful, and it brings back threats like Master of the Feast and Herald of Torment, which is great for you. 
and also your spike for damage if it dies. And the land, 22 land, 21 swamps, and a Nykthos. Pretty sure you can guess, well, you can work out why they're there. There you go. Well, that's my deck tech. I've been playing this deck uh, quite a long time now, and it's proven to be really, really consistent over all things. Um, consistently good. Um, yeah, I really like it. Um, I hope you guys will too. Thank you.